I'm going to read today's devotion on October 26, 2022, and it's 1883 of, oh, I sound like a, I don't know, 83 of Jesus Today by Sarah Young. Oh, wait, I forgot I should read off of here, so I'm not looking down. Okay, um, here we go. Okay, Jesus today, number 83. I empower you, infusing inner strength into you so that you are ready for anything and ever and equal to anything. It's essential to remember that this inner strength comes through me, through your connection with me. It comes to you as you need it, as you are trusting, no, as you take trusting steps full of dependence, moving forward with your eyes on me. This promise is a powerful antidote of dependence. Moving forward with your eyes on me. I should probably take a drink, but it's all good. This promise is... Oh, I just read that. This promise is a powerful antidote. Oh, no. This promise is a powerful antidote to fear. Especially when you fear being overwhelmed by circumstances. You need to see no circumstances you see looming ahead. They may look daunting, but in me, you are indeed ready for anything and equal to anything. Of course, you're not currently ready for every imaginable situation. I carefully control, I carefully control what happens in your life. I am constantly protecting you from both known and unknown dangers, and I provide strength just when you need it for everything. I what? For everything I allow you to touch? Huh? I think. For every, I'm going to pretend. For everything I allow to touch your life. Many of the future things you anxiously anticipate will not actually reach you. I love this. My promises for things you face in the present, and it is sufficient. So when you are feeling, well, when you are feeling the strain of an idle journey, tell yourself the truth. I have strength for all things through Christ who empowers me. I was just thinking as I was reading that, that I constantly get anxious about things. And you know, they probably, they don't come to fruition. Or if they do, it's not like I expected. And it's better and it's more calm. So, when I don't know who else gets their self all riled up. Oh, this is about to happen. This is about to happen. Like I was telling my brain injury group. I am so excited, I'm so, I'm panicky about the Halloween party that, I mean, I panic beforehand, but when it's happening, I'm all good. And that's exactly what this is saying. Don't be anxious for things that aren't to come because they probably won't happen like you're anticipating them. So just be chill and be like, alright God, you got this. So, let me read, what else? Oh, um, so the reflection. I've skipped today here and done double on other days. But no matter what happens, it seems, what, it seems that the devotion, this is what it's supposed to say. It seems that the devotion that I read for that day is perfect. For what's happening in my life. I have the, um, so, 
like I was saying, I'll be all panicking and, oh no, now I'm panicking about the, the, I'm not with the Christmas party, the Halloween party, oh no, oh, it's all going to be good. Can we just take a chill pill? What are you talking about, Will? All right, so, the Bible verses. I have strength for all things in Christ when that's wrong who empowers me I'm running for anything I really messed this up <laughs> I will just correct that but it was Philippians 413 I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me and then um, then I knew these are way wrong. Okay, so there's the devotion, and I will fix these and then post it, but I'm going to not stop it while I fix these again. So, thanks guys, God bless you, keep smiling, and sleep well. So I put these little dashes when it's like a character that is not easy to get to on the phone, but apparently I can just <clears throat> go through the difficulty of getting to the character. What? Sweetheart, please work on your proofreading skills. Mm. Probably stop recording, but
Alright, and charge the stones. I have strength for all things in Christ who empowers me. I am ready for anything equal to anything through him who infuses inner strength in me. I am in close acquaintance with his life. I'm so glad you things I am not. I am self-sufficient in Christ's sufficiency. So, abide in me and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself. What? As the branch yeah, cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. Hmm. That sounds funny. Funny. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm glad. I don't know. So I had a green machine shake tonight. Uh, I just taste my throat is really. The Lord is my strength and my shield. Hey, that little hyphen and semicolon can be just put a semicolon. Yes. Okay. My heart trusts in Him, and I am helped. My heart leaps for joy, and that will give. And I will give thanks to Him in song. I think. And my shield. Trust in him, comma, and I am Okay. My heart leaps for joy. Now we can. Leaps for joy. Now we give thanks to him. Song. Sing to the Lord. Sorry. Let me think of a choir song from like sixth grade. Mm, no, I can't think. I had it in my thought. When I say hyphen, it types I've been. So that should be a hyphen. Okay, there we go.
Yay, Kimmy. So, let's just post this. Maybe when it gets freezing cold, we will do all these things that we haven't done yet. Great night, guys. That is today, the morning one, but that is all for it. Have a great night. God bless you guys. Keep smiling. And tomorrow is Thursday. Yay. Please pray for my friend who's going to have medical procedure. The pre the prep for the medical procedure tomorrow. Kind of. Thanks. God bless you guys. Keep smiling. And it's going to rock. Wow.